Secretary of State John Kerry says the U.S. is now reviewing options to scour social media while vetting visa applicants for possible national security threats. But checking social media is not a new idea. In fact, MSNBC chief legal correspondent Ari Melber just obtained exclusively an internal Homeland Security memo from 2011 that proposed doing exactly that. But it was not adopted. Ari joins us now with more on his reporting. Ari, lay this out for us. What exactly uh, were we talking about? When did it happen? And who said we're not doing it? Great question. We don't know who said no, but we've obtained exclusively, breaking here on Morning Joe for the first time, this 2011 memo from DHS Customs, basically outlining what everyone has lately been calling for, the review of social media, Facebook, etc., for people who are applicants for visas, basically. You see it up on the screen. What, what, what's the, first the time concern we're publishing it. in that memo focused on terror threats? Fraud, crime, and national security, Joe. And it explicitly said national security is one of the reasons that you'd want to look at this. At this time, we have a source, a former senior DHS official, who said not only was this not done, but people in the customs offices had firewalls preventing them from even getting on these sites. So this was an attempt to do this, and this very memo that we've now obtained published for the first time so went through layers of review, went up the line, a year of reviews. It would authorize this type of access. It would try to create this program, and it ultimately was not adopted. I want to tell you one more so, thing. So, so Ari, really quickly, sure. though, let me stop you there. But you're telling us not only did the administration say no to this proposal uh, to review social media accounts for national security purposes, but they actually enacted firewalls to prevent people from taking a look at an applicant's social media pages, Facebook pages, Twitter accounts? Well, we have sources that say those firewalls existed partly to keep people from goofing off on the job fine, maybe for some, but we have folks saying that that then prevented this type of review. Now, I called DHS, I spoke to uh, Marcia Catrone there, uh, and she said in a written statement, the department is actively considering additional ways to incorporate the use of social media review. They don't dispute this internal memo, though, I got to tell you, when I gave them notice about this, and they also say they began three pilot programs to do this, as Willie was mentioning. It's something people are now talking about, but what's interesting here is that this is four years ago oh, under review so, and not done so if you were the attorney general or the president or whoever didn't do this or said no to it what would be the argument against it what's your best argument for why well, one of the things we've heard from folks who are involved in this policy-making process is that there was concern about privacy, civil liberties, and the rules that do govern because this program, while it affects, of course, international applicants, it also affects people who are U.S. residents or who are here legally, right, who basically you have to have some protections in how you deal with them. And that is a legal thicket, and that's something I think people care about. But obviously... I think the headline is, if this is okay to do now, which is what the administration is saying it's exploring, it's striking that years ago they couldn't get it done and move forward. And some of this is just a difficulty in moving forward on technological Wait, But you know, It's striking, though. They're concerned about privacy for people that are out of the country, that want to come into the country, that have no privacy rights while they're going through this process. That's right. If you're a non-resident seeking uh, entry into the United States, from a Fourth Amendment search and seizure perspective, you don't have the kind of rights that American would have. In addition, and the memo notes this, and we're basically publishing most of the memo on MSNBC.com. We have redacted parts for operational right. security concerns, but it even says, look, if this is publicly available, it shouldn't raise I, I, I was going concerns. to say, there are, as you, you know, in certain things where there are expectations of privacy, mm -hmm. the government may have a higher standard. Here, you post something on Facebook, you have no expectation of privacy. Right. That's and why the privacy concerns voiced by the administration seem so confounding. I think in the context of at least foreigners, that is true. Now, I did speak That's to some right, officials, for. right, who said, well, when you create a policy like this, it, it governs widely, so it's going to include people who are inside the U.S. as well, and that's what makes it complex. Uh, but the big frustration here from sources we spoke to, and many anonymously who, who didn't want to be identified given the sensitivity, is that there wasn't an urgency and an interest in fixing this or dealing with this. The fact that you have a memoranda like this that was on the nose of the problem, whether or not this would prevent it, my sources aren't saying that, they, that anything here that would have changed would automatically prevent an attack, and I don't think you can responsibly claim that. But the idea that these are just frozen in the bureaucracy for years until there's a crisis, I think is a point of public interest. And, and the idea that the person that was, was helping run the attack was actually praising ISIS and, and, and jihad on her Facebook account right. certainly, and, and, certainly suggests that 
it just may have helped in this sense. Well, and FBI officials then have said, well, they're not clear how public it was, right? So we don't know whether those, all those communications would have been readily available. But there is a clear headline here from folks working on these issues that a lot of things were frozen for a long time. All right.